In this video, I'm gonna be showing you seven artificial intelligence tools that you can be using in 2023 as an entrepreneur to get ahead of the pack and supercharge your productivity. Me and my team have gone deep to find you guys some tools that we haven't really seen being talked about much that are really gonna help you be more productive in your everyday life. The tools that I'm gonna cover in this video are the kind of tweaks that you can make to your schedule and your workflow this year to become more productive and really hit the ground running and beat the competition in every aspect you can. So to those of you sticking around to the end, I know that you're going to be the ones to crush this year. Thank you so much for watching and let's get stuck into it. But before we get started, my name is Liam Motley. I'm a self-made serial entrepreneur from New Zealand and now living in Dubai, finally back here after a few weeks away. On this channel, I create content for aspiring and established entrepreneurs looking to hit it big and strike rich in this AI gold rush happening right now. I post at least three videos every single week on this topic. So if you're an entrepreneur looking to get ahead and make some money in this huge opportunity we have in front of us, make sure you head down below, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you're notified when I drop my next video and leave a like if you feel it really, really helps my video reach more people. Thank you so much. Tool number one, Compose AI. Compose AI is a free Chrome plugin that's going to help you write faster in your emails on Facebook, wherever it is in Slack, by giving you AI generated suggestions and autocomplete. Here we are on the Compose AI site. I can just scroll down and show you what the features are. Autocomplete is going to like you're in your Gmail. It's going to give you autocomplete suggestions. It's going to enable you to rephrase sentences, which is a really cool functionality. Just like in ChatGPT, you can ask it to shuffle things around and make it different. And then there's easy reply, compose now, all sorts of different features that I'm going to show you here in a sec. Super easy install. We're just going to head to the Chrome web store right now, hit add to Chrome, and then boom installed just like that. And I've got a nice tutorial here if you want to have a watch, but I've actually got it all sorted out. So to get started with it, I'm just here on my Gmail. What you can do is I click down on the bottom and say open compose now. So in here I can ask it like chat GPT, it's going to know what I'm asking for and it's going to write it out for me. So in this I can write Ask Graham if you can buy me a new dog for Christmas and mention that I'll be home on the 12th of August. And just like that, it's given me a full email written out. I've only had to write one short sentence and then it's given me an entire email. All I can say is cheers, Liam, and then I'm done. And there's also autocomplete features. So if I'm like, I am not sure what you mean. So as you can see, as I write along, it gives me all the complete suggestions. It's really quick, really snappy. And I think if you're an entrepreneur who's running a lot of emails, who doesn't have time or you haven't, can't quite afford an assistant, then something like this is such a great tool because you can just write into that prompt all everything you need for the email, hit enter, and it's going to give you a fully populated email. You can just fire that off. This is going to save so much messing around. I, for one, is definitely going to be adopting this in my email flow. One last great feature about Compose.ai is this rephrase option. So I've selected it and then I can click rephrase. It actually has a couple here, shorten, expand, formal tone or friendly tone. So there's some great examples here of things you can do. I'm going to rephrase it. And there you go. I've got a rephrased example of what I just had. So we're going to take this and I'm going to put a friendly tone. Shorten it down, give it a friendly tone. When you're writing your emails, you get all different blocks that you're working with. You can get it to write stuff for you. You can shorten it, lengthen it, friendly tone, business tone, all sorts of great things that are going to be handy for you when you're writing your emails every single day. Tool number two is Descript. Descript is an insanely powerful video editing software that's online that's powered by artificial intelligence. Here we are on Descript's website. It gives you a few examples of what you can do with it. Video editing, screen recording, podcasting, and transcription. Now this doesn't even give you a hint of just how powerful some of these tools are that they have got included in their app. I'm actually thinking of getting my YouTube editors to start using this because it honestly will save them so much time and save me a few hours in billing as well. So really check this out. There's a great explainer video on their website right here, which will save me a ton of breath, but it's got some crazy features like the transcription is going to be able to take all the audio from your video, transcribe it all and have it in sort of a text conversation based way where you can look at it like a text document and then edit what you're saying and it will learn using artificial intelligence learn your voice i'm pretty sure this is a first edition super rare creature kawaii just type what you meant to say right into the script I'm pretty sure this is a seventh edition creature co-op. I've downloaded the script and I'm in the app now. I'm in their demo project, so I'm going to show you a few of the features of it. The main feature of the script is the side panel here, which is going to allow you to basically connect the text and the video to the different bits of video that are being shown. So the script knows what words are being saying when in your video, which allows you to modify how it's being said and modify the words within the actual video itself. So they have an insane feature called overdubbing. Overdubbing allows you in this text editor here to change what they said. So here, if I head to the overdub editor and I select that all, it asks me to assign a voice. So if I assign a voice, it's Tiff here, which is the person in the video. What I want to do is create a new voice. For it to be able to replicate your voice in your videos and allow you to edit and overdub things, you need to give it 10 minutes of training data. So in this project, it won't let me show you, but if you have a, say, half an hour video, or the more the better, I assume, if I have like half an hour, an hour of me talking on a podcast, I can give that to the script and it's going to learn my voice. And then if I say something in the podcast I don't like, I can head to this text editor on the side and I can change what I wrote by overdubbing it. Not only does the script have this insane side panel here that switches up the flow of editing completely and makes it so much more intuitive and that text base, also has tons of stock footage that you can search through and give you a great range of things to choose from and use in your videos. It has all the usual text editing things and effects and animations to make them look cool and slide in and stuff. And best of all, it is shareable. It's like Figma. You can add teammates in here and they can work on the project with you actively. So I'm for sure going to be asking my editors to check this out and see if we can start working on here in the future so that I can see the projects and the project files aren't all scattered around the globe. Tool number three, browse AI. 
Browse AI has done a great job of turning the headache of web scraping and monitoring different web pages into a streamlined system all on their website that just makes it such a breeze to use. If you're not familiar with web scraping, it's a process of scraping data off different web pages and usually it's a bit of a headache because you've actually got to dig through all of the code of that web page and pluck out the different elements. These guys have done a great job of making it this nice intuitive way of web scraping. So here we are on Browse AI's website. It's going to show you what they can do. Data extraction, monitoring and pre-built robot setup. So there's a whole bunch of functionality these guys give. No coding required, two minute setups. So it starts off here are we looking to extract structured data or are we looking to monitor site changes? Monitor site changes, obviously, pretty straightforward. Extract structured data, we're going to do one of these as an example. So here I've just taken a Y Combinator site and I can head back over and put it in here. Start recording task. Install the extension. So now we have it here in the corner and it's going to actually record what I'm doing. So browse the AI as a scraping tool that's going to allow you to set up monitors on different sites you want to be looking at. For example, you could be scraping a competitor's site and keeping an eye on what new products they put out. So here I've selected the table of data that I want to start scraping. Once I've selected all the things I want to scrape, then I hit enter to finish. So a, a simple use case for this would be looking at Facebook groups and you want to scrape all the data off the Facebook group and store it in the list. You can actually connect this to your Google Sheets. So you'll be able to scrape all the data off any website you want to find without having to hire a developer, which is usually what you'd have to do with web scraping. If you're looking at scraping some data off the web in a systematic way, this is like $20, $30 a month. Great tool. Tool number four is Tome. Tome is an artificial intelligence presentation builder that's going to save you so much time it will create you some fire presentations and just a click of a button so we're going to jump in and have a look as an entrepreneur you might be putting together a pitch deck for some fundraising so we can hop into this one one of the cool things here is dali is going to allow me to put things into a prompt and then get instant ai generated images to put into my presentation and here i've put in a prompt skyscraper rising up from the pavement in new york viewed from the ground there we go and just like that we've got an image from dali put into our presentation now look you can drag these around it's really intuitive the way it, it shuffles things through there's a bunch of easy theme settings you can change. It's going to save you a ton of time. So you don't have to go through every single slide and change the font. Click this and it's going to change all of the headline fonts for you. And then you can change the paragraph fonts just as easily. So this kind of stuff just saves you so much time coming through, changing your font, changing your color scheme, adding in those AI images. This is the exact kind of software that I'm going to be using when I'm making my presentations this year. It's just so intuitive, going to save me so much time. The styling here is just off the charts and you're going to be able to pull in artificially generated images. I mean, just look at some of these tables that it's got. It looks so fantastic compared to what you'd be able to do on any other presentation maker like PowerPoint. So if this year, if you've got any really important presentations that you need to drop and you need to save time and then make a splash with how good they look, a tool like Tome is going to be excellent for you in that regard. Tool number five is Synthasia. Synthasia allows you to use AI avatars and tell them what to say. Now on their website here, you can see this is a great example. This guy looks more natural on camera than most YouTubers. They have a ton of different actors that you can use and they also have a ton of different languages as well. So this has just got everything you need in terms of making a human looking person that speaks whatever you want. Now you may be asking, why do I need this? Well, if you haven't noticed, because of tools like ChatGPT, faceless YouTube automation has become a serious player in the online business space. People are making thousands and thousands of dollars a month by making YouTube videos with scripts written by AI and then putting it into tools like Pictory and making artificially generated stock footage that goes on top of the captions and they're posting it on YouTube. This kind of tool is what you can use in creating your YouTube automation videos. It's gonna allow you to keep your face off it and put someone up there instead. Not only is it gonna make your content creation schedule faster because doing this like I'm in front of a camera takes hours, but you can just type it all in and it's gonna give you all at once. But number two, you never have to get your face in there anyway so here we're going to create a quick ai video you can tell her what to say liam has such fire tools to use as an entrepreneur in 2023 let's run this up liam has such fire tools to use as entrepreneurs in 2023 let's run this up using faceless youtube automation and combining it with tools like this you can start making a ton of money on youtube as a creator but never put your face on what's more you could start making these explainer and training videos for companies if you can come to companies and say hey i'll make you some great training videos that are super high quality got a great presentation behind it and then you can use tools like this to create these bots that speak your script for you you can start creating a ton of money by selling to these corporate companies on the excellent training videos that you can make for a fraction of the price of others being able to undercut media companies that require cameramen and actors and lighting and stuff by using these tools is such a huge opportunity for entrepreneurs right now you want to get in ahead of these guys and start making money and stealing their business away. Tool number six is Flyfin. Flyfin is your accountant powered by artificial intelligence. It uses artificial intelligence to find all of the deductions and loopholes that you can possibly get to squeeze the most money out of your income and get the least amount possible to the government. Here on the site, you can see it's the number one AI tax engine for freelancers. AI best product of the year. So to use Flyfin, all you need to do is sign up and link your accounts. Then the artificial intelligence is going to find every possible tax deduction for you to use in your filing so that you can save as much money as possible. It's going to be looking through all of these things and find the deductions that you can save money on and then it's going to ask you to approve them or decline them or send them off to a CPA to have a look at more closely. So as a solo entrepreneur for many years myself, these kind of tools would be, have been a lifesaver and saved me a ton of money on my, on my accountant bills. But I know it can be a massive headache if you're starting online businesses right now, or if you've been running one for a few months or a few years. And when it comes down to tax time, I know it can be very daunting. So something like this for an entrepreneur going into 2023 is going to give you one peace of mind, but two, save you a bunch of time and three, save you a ton of money through these deductions. I think this is such an excellent tool. I 
wish I had this when I was getting my start when I didn't have to pay all that money to my accountant. Here we have a demo on screen. It's taking my credit card, checking account savings, obviously not real data, but that's an example. Now it's analyzing all of my expenses. It's finding the deductions based on my tax profile and millions of other rules. The AHA has found deductions worth $8,678. Now, if I connected my account and I saw that I could save $10,000 on my tax bill for the year, that would be an excellent, excellent little headed dopamine for me. There you have it, a quick run through of their app. I think this is an excellent tool. I'm assuming this is only available for US customers. So if you're a US viewer, definitely take advantage of this. If you live outside the US like I have my whole life, then I'm sure you're used to the feeling of not being able to have fun with a lot of these financial tools that people create. Our seventh and final tool is Excel Formula Bot. Excel Formula Bot is like ChatGPT, but it's gonna help you create all the Excel formula that you need. If you're an entrepreneur and have been for a while, I'm sure you're familiar with the nightmare you can have with Google Sheets and Excel over time. Something like this is such an incredible tool because it's going to use that AI sort of conversational style dialogue that you have with ChatGPT, but it's going to help you get formulas for your Excel spreadsheets. Transform your text instructions into Excel formulas in seconds with the help of AI for free. As you can see on the side here, you can either give it a prompt and ask for a formula for it, or you can take a formula and get an explanation for it. So this is just an excellent tool. We're gonna to jump straight in and give you an example of how I'd be using it in my own businesses right now, using an example for my YouTube financials report. As you can see on screen here, this is super powerful. It can take the easiest to the hardest Excel formulas that you can give it based on text. So look, from this average column of A and then all of this, it can convert it into a complex if and statement with regex matching and a whole bunch of other stuff. This can definitely handle anything you throw at it. So here's an example of a Drive Future Financial spreadsheet that I'm looking at right now. I've got a video editor name, I've got the editing hours, I have a thumbnail designer and I have the thumbnail hours. What I wanna do is create a function in this total cost column that's gonna look at who the editor is and then use a rule if the editor is X, then multiply the hours by Y. So if I have editors that are on different rates, then I can quickly multiply across the row and do the same with the thumbnail designer. And then for every single time a new video is made, a new editor or a thumbnail editor does it, it will automatically calculate it based on who the people are and what their rates are. So I've hit it over here and I've inputted it into their tool and I've gone Google Sheets and I want to generate it, not explain. So you can have a look at this. Basically, I've been very specific about the columns and rows, what it's gonna be and what I expect the multiplication to be. And then I said at the end, add the result of both of these and output it to column G, row two. So you need to make sure you're putting in the rows so that when you expand it down and, and copy that same down across all the columns, it's gonna automatically adjust the ones it needs to adjust. You need to be specific about it just to get for one row. So I've put in the row and the column here. And then if I take this, copy it and put it into the total cost, hit enter, then it gives me the 255 and I can drag it down and it's going to automatically apply it to the next column and adjust the rows. This has just saved me a ton of time. I was thinking I was going to have to go on Fiverr and find someone to do this for me. But just like that, it's been able to give me a really complex if structure function that I can put into the sales here and it's work out exactly how much I'm paying my editors and how much I'm paying my YouTube thumbnail creators. This is an excellent tool and I'm definitely going to be using this a ton. It's going to save me a ton of time looking for people to do this and a ton of money as well because I'm not having to pay people to do it. Congratulations for making it to the end and I hope you're going to be applying some of these to your life because I certainly will be. You need to go out there with the best tools, the best weapons to crush the competition and some of these are going to save you the time and the money needed to get to the top of the pyramid. So if you've enjoyed the video and got something out of it, I make content like this every day for people who are looking to get an edge as an entrepreneur. I just did an AI startup in just eight minutes using ChatGPT. I, I told it to write it all for me. So I'm going to put it up in the corner here somewhere so that you can watch that. It's an excellent video. If you have any questions, then hit down below and leave them in the comment section. I reply to all comments so I can help you out as much as I can down there. That about wraps it up. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Liam Motley and best of luck to you as you navigate this AI gold rush.